Right. But seriously, MathPat is probably one of the most influential YouTubers out there. The amount of things he's done and the amount of people he's inspired and the amount of work that he's had to do for years is honestly just uh, tr truly incredible. He's had a mostly good reputation for years. He's given away to good causes. He's a fun and charismatic guy. He has lots of energy. He's just such a, just a genuine good person. The first video that I watched of him was one of his uh, Undertale theories, uh, the, the first one about Gaster. After that, I just kind of became a, a pretty regular watcher. You know, after uh, watching all of his Undertale theories, I started uh, watching, uh, of course, his FNAF stuff. Uh, so I watching uh, uh, his Minecraft theories. I was there since the first episode when that came out. And I was also a huge fan of uh, the, the science done by Austin Hurrigan on his channel as well. I honestly would argue that Austin has like almost the same amount of like incredible energy that Matt has. Like he, he's also like, like a really good performer as well. Because I watched him so early on with Matt, I consider him to be like almost as important as Matt to the channel. Like I, I, tr I truly like really love the guy in his series. That's why I saw him when, when Scott Con Coffin opened the door. I, I thought it was Austin for a second. I was like, what's he doing here? And then, and then I just, and then I, re then I read the chat and I realized it was Scott Coffin. And so, so, yeah, and then I did like a funny little meme that you just saw. Now that was all for uh, goofs and gaffs, but uh, I truly uh, do uh, believe that this will be a moment in YouTube history for years to come. A lot of people are sad about uh, Matt leaving, and while I am a little sad that he's not going to be on uh, uh, the main uh, guy that's going to be present on the channel, I'm honestly happy for him. You know, lending his workload to four separate people not only means that those four separate people will not have you know as big as workload as Matt because she, geez, I'm pretty sure he's been uploading weekly for years now across four separate channels. So that's technically four videos weekly. I don't know how he does it, man. Like his, his team must be working around the clock. It must be insane. But now that he's no longer a host, he has more time to do, not only spend time with his family, but to do like other projects. You know, we know about the, the lore fight thing and the fashion show going on. And who knows what else is cooking up in the theorist department. And he's still gonna be on GT Live as well. He's not gonna be gone from the channel. He's not gonna like retire from the internet. He's still gonna be like in the background. And he's probably still going to work on some of the theory videos as well. He's just that he's not going to be the one saying the lines. And honestly, uh, I kind of respect that. I feel like society tends, when something is great, they tend to like, they tend to propel all the credit for that great thing onto one singular person. And this is definitely the case for the theory channels. MatPat is the creator of the theory channel, so it makes sense he gets all the credit, but, but the fact that he's no longer host allows for other members of his team to get some light and they can become the new faces of the channel and be a lot more well known than he is. MatPat has had his time in the spotlight and I think it's honestly I respect that he's allowing uh, others to take like his highly prestigious position as host of the channels. He's already done a lot of great things throughout his career, and he's already done like a decade of game theory. He's accomplished what he needs to do with that. He can now move on to much bigger and better projects in the future. So, long story short, thank you for everything, MatPat, and good luck on your endeavors. Just a theory of game.